they knew somebody who um, offered them Xanax and said they were selling Xanax. Did he have a, a suede boot on, a, a pattern top and a, t- <laughs> and a spray and tan? A, and- we stay to slay another day here in the studio, but our live show is not sold out yet. So make sure you check out the link in description and get tickets to our show at Zany's in Nashville. We're synced. Our cycles are synced. I have some sad news, but at the top of the show, I'd like to report. I love that because it really sets the mood for the entire show. Let it rip, honey. Hunty. Another. We have another fallen soldier. And that is? Malaysia. Baby doll. Baby doll. Baby, Baby doll. doll Fox. Ba- Fox has sadly been... I'm chopped from the competition. <laughs> <laughs> That's is Lux Noir still in? She's still in. Well, Lux Lux now she will Next be. Next to London is still in. Very good to hear. Very good to hear. Very sad to see Baby Doll go. We do love um, a woman who repeats her name three times in her drag game. Well, good luck to her career. She just can't have it in Tennessee. <sighs> oh, oh. Isn't that fuck that's happening? We're doing it. By the way, it's a protest show now. So come to Tennessee if you want to see us. We're going to be in full drag. Marty's going to be in drag. He's going to be. In, Marty's <laughs> going to be in sure a skirt. You come? Oh yeah, I'm coming. All right, of course. Good. Okay, Sandra. She Sanj- said she's not gonna have a draw by then. Sanjay. Oh, it's Will Sanjay's you? last day. Today is Monday. Oh, so we're doing our last. Oh, we're doing a farewell Monday. What What do you want for a farewell gift? And no, Joey's not gonna go down on you. <laughs> he didn't bake it. I didn't bake it. Yeah, I still have to get. I have to get my oats. What's so I have to start here? feeling my oats. Start feeling them, darling. What's happening here? Are you with? On the no, I'm not. Oh, I'm with that. I'm with HR, not HR. I'm with um, Katie McGuire, our talent, oh, our talent queen. queen, is asking about that. Um, anyway, so Malaysia Fox, baby doll, baby doll Fox is gone. I'm wearing a boot, no scarf. I'm wearing a red thong and a Patagonia fleece um, pant with a pasty white arm. I'm getting M sculpt today. Should I get a tattoo like this? Yeah. Um, but listen, if you haven't bought tickets yet, I'm going to be perform. I mean, we're going to be performing. Let's do drag. Full blown. In Nashville. Zany's Nashville. And what's funny about, and it's, it's a really an aha moment for me, I got to say, as a comedian. Um, comedian. A comedian. I looked at the roster of the month of who's performing there. Mm-hmm. And I got to say, the reason I start, got into comedy, the reason I have so much pizzazz and kind of bo- like a no, 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 no gives a fuck Talk kind of attitude him. is because of one comedian in particular. And she's performing there for five nights in a row. And it really just is a pinch me fucking moment that I'm performing on the same exact stage, the same exact month. As, as Ch- Chelsea, Chelsea Handler. Handler. As Chelsea Handler. Chelsea Handler is a Jew from New Jersey, Livingston, New Jersey. We just called it Livingstein, New Jersey. She's Jewish? Yes, she is. You called it Livingstein? <laughs> it was where all the Jews, all the rich Jews Old lived. Old-fashioned anti-Semitism. <laughs> yeah. No, we were, we were jealous of them because they were the rich people. So she was from Livingston, New Jersey. And I looked up to her since the second I saw her doing like commentary on like, you know, on different things. And she just, she's got my comment. I never saw another comic on the stage that, that kind of got my, my quick wit and humor that I've always had. And I identified with her. And the fact that we're performing on the same stage as Chelsea Handler, who I've looked up to and gave, I owe my whole career to. You owe it's your fucking, whole, no, 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 no. No, you, I owe my career to Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. Exa- well, you, I was going to say you owe it to Eureka, who has recently changed her name from yes. Harry to Eureka Hubbard. Hubbard. Eureka Hubbard in Tennessee. Yeah. Um, that is very exciting that we're going to be performing uh, closing for it's Chelsea. It's bittersweet <laughs> and it's just um, very, not bittersweet. It's just, it's, um, it's sweet. It's, it's sweet. not bittersweet. Yeah. Bittersweet, bittersweet would be like, it'll be our last time. And if you want to see um, me soak up all, all, all of it in. Come on April 27th to Zany's in Nashville. Tickets are on sale now. Meet and greets are sold out. However, I'll be doing an after after meet and greet in the ladies' room. And you know Only what's required you, there? Yes. Yes. Powders and pills are accepted. The powders and payment. pills. You know, Chrissy DeStefano is going to be on on Wednesday. He said he invented something that's going to be merch. It's called the Out and About Cocktail. It's Pinot Grigio. Antihistamine. Yep. Cocaine. Cocaine, poppers. And meth. and meth. So you put that, ladies, you put that in a cup. And, and you mix put it that in a, in a high-speed blender. <laughs> you, put that, you put that in a Nutribullet with a little protein Now you can add powder. frozen fruit of your choice. I like mango. <laughs> and I put a proper wild in there for extra kick. And I like peach. Cut peach, y'all. Okay? Uh, it's going to be fun. We're looking forward to National Marty might come down. Um, the office, by the way, here at Barcel, if you haven't been here, you haven't because you're listening, you don't work here. It's been buzzing. There's a lot of talk about people moving to well, that, Chicago. Well, that was that was um, Kelly Keegs' vibrator under her desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kelly Keegs. Yeah, it's been buzzing. I like The Office. It's been really bumping lately. It's it has been, been. Yeah, it's been fun. It's sad because Sanjeet's leaving us for two weeks. No, a month. She's having. She's going for bottom surgery. Are you nervous about that? No, I would be. Fu- do you want to talk about it on the show or not really? Are you third mic? Third mic. Would you mind, Marty? Do you mind? Uh, no. Pop on, pop on in here. An interview with Sanjit. 
Now, I, I left a panty shield on the desk in case you spot. That's act, believe, believe it or not, that's a adult. Um, is this a panty shield? I'm going to piss in one of these later. Do you have to clap that mic or them cheeks? You got to clap, clap that thang. She keeps that thang on her. Talk to us. Tell the people what's happening to your jaw. You don't have to talk about this if you don't want to, by the way, Sandra. No, I don't care. I don't know how because you're going to be gone right. and people loved when we talked about your dating stuff. So I feel like they'll be interested to hear. Well, she, we're a millennial podcast. So we're and foremost. They like to see um, some of their some of their peers. Correct. Let her rip. So, Sandra, um, you're going in because you have to have jaw surgery, not because you're transitioning. No, I'm not transitioning. Yeah, I'm going. Well, your jaw is transitioning from the current state to something new. So you kind of are having a trans surgery. Yeah, actually. Well, we don't We don't need to make this about trans. We can. Um, so, so, so what's happening? Because you have to have it done because your jaw is something's messed up with it. It's going down to the bones. And so, you're in pain. You're right? uncomfortable. Yeah. I was more in pain when before my first surgery because I had two. Well, this will be my second. And she's yeah. a surge queen. Yeah. You had, <laughs> you had two. Um, the first one you had, I remember, and that was like an initial yeah. to get you ready for the second. Is that is so you have bone on bone in the jaw, and that's causing pain. So they need to break your jaw now. I've had bone on bone in the jaw before myself. <laughs> However, there's a name was Raul and her and Hector. And that was at the Eagle. Believe, yeah. believe it or not. He had bone on bone on bone. That's that's correct. And the thing. So how how intense is the surgery gonna be? I know your face is gonna be swollen. I know you're gonna be uncomfortable. Well, let's hear what it's for first. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm getting it because I was starting to develop arthritis in my jaw joint. Um so that's basically it. I just like was in pain a lot before. Like I couldn't really move my neck yeah, um, or like even like touch my ear. I would like take my earrings out because it was like, if it oh. was like too heavy, it was like pulling. Oh, really? It was like, yeah. Like, well, thank God I was for modern medicine because you're yeah. able to get the, the healing that you deserve. Now, how intense of a surgery is it? Because when I had my breast done, they went in thinking it's going to be a 45 minute procedure. Eight hours later, <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't know it was under, under I'm you know, I don't look as big as I am. Joey tried to get, Joey's trying to get Sandra to do uh, Eastern medicine, believe it or not. No, it's <laughs> literally going to be like a five to eight hour surgery. Oh my God. Yeah. God. And I'm where's scared. it taking place? Um, in New York. Okay. In it's at LIJ, Long Island Jewish Hospital. And so, oh. what do they? You have good doctors. And mm -hmm. so, what do they do? Like they break your jaw. So oh, yeah. the small little places, and then redo like, it. So they go in. I won't have like any scarring on the outside of my face, That's but good. they're breaking like the top jaw, and then they have to like break the bottom, like cut it in like two different places, mm -hmm. and then they have to like move it in a way that will align. Align, right. So you feel comfortable. Yeah. And when you say break, it's, it sounds worse than it is. I literally was scattered oh like a God. fish on a table. I didn't feel anything. I woke up and you go to sleep, you wake up, nothing's wrong. It's it's but for they them. they break bones. They're breaking my skull. I know, but that's yeah. like, like it's, it's, it's that same thing as like a, uh, <clears throat> and, they're, and they're, so, yeah. they're gluing back no, together. No, I trust my surgeon. I won't be any pain. Like even my no. first one, I took the painkillers that they gave me, I think like either once or twice. And it was just because I was, the swelling is so uncomfortable, but there wasn't any actual pain because your nerves are so inflamed that they're not working. Are there risks associated with the surgery? Oh yeah. A ton. Like which ones? Like you can get infection. I'll be like taking oral antibiotic, um, like a mouthwash antibiotic and like Oof. liquid antibiotics. I'm pretty sure like there's a trillion things, but I don't read through that. The only thing yeah, that actually scared yeah, me when I had to like fine. sign off on it was that obviously my face structure is going to change a little and you have to like sign off basically saying that the doctor's not responsible whether or not you like how you look after. Like, well, they're not they doing can't. any cosmetic things. They're not, they're not looking at your face saying, well, let's pull her up here. Will your jaw be like out more? Will it be like, no, you don't I don't know. know. He, he said that he would be able to show me, but I opted not to see just because I know that However I'm going to look is going to be how I'm going to look, whether I like it or not. So I don't want to like see it and be obsessed with it and be like, oh my God. And then so it what I would be use, the same. My That's crazy. Are you able to kind of say like, well, if you do have the option of making this more streamlined, so it is I would a, like more angular. <laughs> no, yeah. it is a medical thing. Like I had to go through insurance. I had to speak to a speech pathologist. It's all like medical, but people do do this. Yeah, as we can cosmetic. have a little bit of fun. Yeah, with it. It, no, like people can get while this you're as in a there, Doctor thing. Schwartzman. So they're not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> is that his name? <laughs> is that his name? His name is Doctor Schwartz. Shut the fuck up. Well, how many other how many other Jewish doctor names is there? Doctor Schwartz. <laughs> Feinstein's not doing fucking. You want to he's, he's a dentist. Yeah, fu no, Feinstein's working in uh, in um in orthopedics. Entertainment. No, yeah. entertainment in Hollywood. You want to hear something kind of funny? That was. That should be my last name. They changed my last name uh, to Black at Ellis Island. It was yeah. Schwartz. Wow. Yeah. They shortened it. 
It's because your mother was in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> they go, interestingly enough, we had a lady, Jerry, come over. Yeah. Now she, Lovely woman. Now she was <laughs> she was in the front of the raft. She was ahead of her time. They didn't start doing that until the 50s. <laughs> she would have um, done well at Dr. Dr. Schwartz, man. Dr. Schwartz. Dr. Schwartz. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Schwartz. He's kind of cute. You gotta smash so. or pass? Um, pass. We beef, kind of. You beef with him? A little. You do beefing She's with your a doctor? She's difficult patient. A little. Are you, do, would you consider yourself a difficult patient? No, I think I'm very fair. fair. I thought I was fair in the meeting I just had. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not the easiest, but I do apologize. I'm like, I know. I do apologize, Miss Schwartzman. recognize <laughs> if I'm being a bitch, but I'm like. Sometimes... Yeah, that's not someone you want to piss off before you go under. <laughs> no. <laughs> right? But he, he goes, knows. let's just take a little off right yeah. of a skull. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he knows that sometimes they're kind of mean. Well, I'm sure everything's going to be yeah. fine. Yes. We're all praying for you. We love you. The show would be nothing without you. It would be fine <laughs> if Emily was here, but she's not. <laughs> I'm okay. But we love you and we care about you. Yes. And I'll be Thanks. sending flowers and cobblers and um, we'll STD that. results to the hospital bed. Yeah. <laughs> Joey, sends, Joey goes, Joey walks in. He goes, <laughs> so I'm her medical proxy. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to need those peels <laughs> released to me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I go, and honey, she's in a lot of pain. We're going to have to double up those oxys. <laughs> okay. Now her purse was stolen. Okay. We they go, her extra- weight. <laughs> Two Tim. Yeah. <laughs> Thank thing. you, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. We wish Sandra nothing but the best. Want to move the camera away from that chair so I get more screen time? Yes. Great. Well, this is going to be quite the change. I don't know who we're going to have fill in. We're going to have her friend Julia fill in. We're going to have Demon Twink fill in. We're, we're going to have, have Jerry O'Connell fill in. <laughs> we're going to have Chris Stefano fill in. We're going to have yes, um, Luxembourg London fill in. The late Baby Doll Fox. Should we have Should we have Malaysia Baby Doll Baby Doll Baby Doll Fox do our social one day? We're going to have Eureka's dead name fill in. <laughs> <laughs> We have a whole list of, of um, specialty guests that are going to be filling in. <laughs> we, we should have celebrity. Uh, we have Ebony's, social, Ebony's social new people. black baby doll she has on her desk fill in. <laughs> Do you see that? Yes. That's her child. But she also has a doll. Oh, all right. Yeah, Ebony has her daughter here today. Very cute. Looks Do you know that like we have an exciting. I know there's not. You're this, glowing. And I, know why, and I know why you're glowing. Because there's a factor meal kit coming to our door this week. Is that true? Do yes. we have a factory? Did you not fill yours out? Oh, I did. No, I did I fill it out. We're getting factory meals. They're sponsoring our show. That's like like the like the, the most fancy diet. Like um, I want to be th- trim. Well, you saw, you 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 get a lipo search. I'm getting M sculpt again today. <laughs> this is number five out of nine. What time I'm do you have to work? Crank tomorrow? it up. To I'd like to drink heavily tonight. What time do I have to be here tomorrow, Marty? We, uh, the plan is noon. I can do noon. You can do noon. I want to drink. Just keep for- drinking. We're gonna drink on the show. Ooh. Tomorrow. It's ever having a green Irish day. Yeah. Green Irish tweed. We're going to film our St. Patty's Day Did you show. buy any costumes for us to, de- to decorate in? I bought a shit ton of stuff. I'm going to bring it in. We're going to decorate the studio. Um, and Can I, he changes out to Patty O Furniture. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> She's got dad jokes, y'all. Okay. Um, I got a outfit, but I'm going to wait until wear it until I'm on the Boston Parade. And I just found out that I'm being whisked away yet again. After, you know, I, I, I can't keep a girl down. Can't keep a rich lady down. Um, Alex Bennett's away. I'm staying at her house. I don't think that's true. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's. I think he's. It was the first thing he said to me this morning. He's like, "You are not believing." I'm saying it, <laughs> darling. Oh, we can't say that. You can't say that. Yeah, we have to bleep the address. Clock the address. I'm staying in the beautiful West Village owned apartment. Do they don't own it? No, they, they don't own it. They don't own it. They can't afford it to own. Um, but I'm, no, I'm being whisked away to Los Angeles. Sarah Michelle Geller slid in my DMs and said, will you come to my movie premiere? And oh. I was funny because the guest on today's show has a passage um, for the Sarah Michelle Geller. She has a what? A pass with Sarah Michelle Geller. Our guest today, Jerry O'Connell, and her used to date and canoodle. Yeah. So it's a very good story about it. But I'm being whisked away to be one of her movie premieres. I don't know if Jerry has anything to do with it, but I was slid in. They want to take, they're putting me in a hotel and what flying do you me. Do, what are you doing? I'm <laughs> attending. The, I'm, attending <laughs> I'm a celebrity in Hollywood. They they want my face on the carpet. So because if Joey likes it to see this movie, everyone else is going to like to see this movie. She's influenced for many years, believe yeah. it or not, on both on social media as well as uh, film and the big screen. Now, I'm part of the Paramount Plus CBS team, Fish. F- team. <laughs> Seal Team Fish. Seal Team Fish. That's our military <laughs> name. Oh, so, you know um, Zach's friend Patrick? He came up with a Which good- Which one? There's two Patrick. Yeah, the, the tall one. A good drag name. Is he in? Is he in? Ooh. Is he in? Is it in? Is he? I-Z-Z-I, but it's like, is he in? Oh. That's like when it goes into your butt. I had sex this morning. Did you bottom or top? I don't want to talk about it. You bottomed. Mm. Now, do you guys shoot? Do you guys just finish inside or do you, do you, <laughs> does he pull it out and shoot on the wall or the nightstand? 
Marty, where do you blow your load? <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend in high school. Who, I'll, be with, I'll be with Jordan Woodruff and you'll be Alex Bennett. Okay. I had a friend I had a friend in high school, seriously, who had a cum wall in his basement. Every time his girlfriend then, would blow him, he'd or he'd fuck his girlfriend, he'd pull out and cum on the wall. And who got what, to clean it up? What who got to clean it up? <laughs> he scraped it with a chisel, getting off. He said he wanted to frame it when they redid the when they redid the basement. That's vile. But we didn't finish in each other. He slept on the couch and I Why? Because he fell asleep out there and I was just beans. Huh? Did you have beans? But be, I, I had beans late at night. Um, and so he slept on the couch. So I went in early, early this morning. Ladies, if you're driving in the car, close your you eyes. You slept on the couch or she slept on the couch? She slept on the couch. Close your eyes and picture this. It's early in the morning. <laughs> you're There's on, a Juliet balcony that juts out about an inch from the building. And they 20. fucking act like it's an asset to their shitty house. <laughs> <laughs> you're on twenty third, twenty third and seventh. You're in it. You're in a little net. No, you're nude on the couch with a beautiful high thread count Egyptian. There's kind. a huge dining dining table taking over the entire apartment. <laughs> you have to walk around. Your man, you're cold because the AC was left on because you you have climate control in your apartment. And a large, um, svelte man slips in behind you, and he just kind of cuddles you like this, and you feel his rock hard. He slides over your your, your sateen panties <laughs> He's, he feels to expose your, your your smooth little pucker, and he lifts one <laughs> and just kind of presses it there. Ladies, are you get are you feeling anything down below? Go ahead. If there are kids in the car, I'd suggest putting on headphones now because it's about to get. Or put a wig now. on because we're doing a drag performance via, via 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 voice. And he just slow, ever so slowly, arches his back to let you know that he's interested. Wait, you you he's the bottoming? No, I bought him, but I started. He tricked me into it again. Do you use Yet a condom? Again. No. Did he no. Where I work he, today. What am I going to walk around with a in my Well, I'm doing... He's I'm, got a does, that like feel, yeah. does that feel weird? You no, never, it just feels like you're like tri tripping out of your head. Like when you have your period. <laughs> oh, you yeah, <laughs> so, Wait, so in the 90s, he actually used to menstruate. No, so no. So we did... Um, he, it, You know, it was one of these things where it just kind of escalated. And I was... Uh, unfortunately, Don't do I that drew, with your face. I drew you're the create wrinkles. I drew the short straw this morning. Mm. I am doing semen retention because I had to be on my A game today. And I walked in looking like the Unabomber because I was ready for battle. I had to have a meeting today. And I was not taking no shit. So my testosterone levels are much more... I can pounce if I need to. He wanted high T. That way he could have energy and be on his the top of his game. When I but I didn't need it because I took a I took a, um I took a an Adderall. No, I took a proper wild when I ginger flavor. Sat on my tummy, gave me no jitters and energy for the day for my meeting and for this interview. When I explode, my energy doesn't really get lower. When I foot when I climax, like I, I feel climax just in five as days. Fun. I don't. Think. Oh, you're so. Low. I try and do semen retention. I tried yesterday to not jerk off, and I physically couldn't do it. I'm just you know severely depressed. What's so. the longest y'all have ever been able to go? So, oh, ever? Yeah, I don't know. The first twelve years of my life. <laughs> yeah, but since um, then, since this probably since, like two weeks. Like when I had COVID, you, so those two weeks, I don't think I climaxed the entire time. I was like deathly ill with COVID. Oh, I don't know. Maybe recent, like in my adult life. Maybe a week, maybe more than a week. Probably I did more a, than a week. I did a month and a half once. What? And what happened yeah. when you did it? Did your balls cramp up? It was wild. How like, big was your load? Oh, it was inside. Was it like experimental. Yeah. Well, uh, he it forced them. It was he when didn't I it. it was when I was studying for the LSAT. There was this like blogger that I was reading, and he like talked about the benefits of like of uh, of that. So I was like, ooh, I'll try it. And like, yeah, went a month and a half, and it was brutal. It is true. If you don't come, when I did a rough and rowdy, like don't come a month before the fight, like an hour before, I was like. Okay. Well, he was like, oh, you'll like have more brain activity and like you'll be able to like read more and stuff. And no. Are you going to goon today, Joey? Because you haven't? No, I'm going to wait. Zach got mad at me because I called it goon. Did you ever call it that in a while? It's disgusting. He smokes e-cigarettes. Give him a message to stop e-cigarettes. No, he can say he's e-cigarettes, but mind your P's and Q's. Don't call us calling goon something frivolous where you smoke um, flavored air. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, that here's our Jerry O'Connell. Yeah. Uh, Jerry O'Connell, he I thought he was great. You know, it got kind of serious. Yeah. It did. Well, Jerry O'Connell, he's you know, he's he's an icon, he's a legend, and she is the moment. Um she but she's long winded. You thought I was long winded. She's a long winded queen. Now she she'll she'll tell a story. Yeah. Well what she talked about. We talked about uh we talked about HIV in the eighties. We 80s. talked about cocaine. We talked about early Hollywood. We talked about Joey's relationship. Joey's re oh my oh. god, the relationship, <laughs> the relationship. I told my bae about that. He goes, you know, but he, he has some sage advice. We've been we've been friends for many years. I didn't know he was following me for three years. Jerry, he knows everything about me. 
he he now he blew up your head before. I was worried that his head was going to yeah. explode. He goes, I'm in the presence of a celebrity, Nana. Blush. Okay, well, it's, that's payback. Blush, 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 like a she was fire hydrant red. That's payback for when Angie Cohen blew your fucking head up when we were on the show. <laughs> and I fucking worried. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're even. Um, should he, we get to the Jerry interview? You're going to like it. He looks so cute. And, um, we're team Ariana over here. He said something that was kind of, I've, I've been thinking about it since the interview that I don't really understand too much. When we asked uh, what is like, oh, I made it moment was, he said when he got cast in Scream 2. And that yeah. was after Stand By Me and Jerry Maguire. But they didn't have so yeah. he had been in two movies that were nominated for Oscars and one that like won. Oh. So, who did he play in Scream? I don't know. I'm not yeah. a Scream guy. I don't know. I don't know. I liked him in I, I made a passing comment too. I made a passing comment on his way out I about Kangaroo that. Jack and he did Is not. Is it a good movie? Should I watch it? it? Yeah, no. He, huh? What, what, why? Isn't that a good movie? It's like he probably gets shit on for it. It was like the kid movie in like 2004 or whatever. Is he cute in it? He's always cute. Yeah, no, he looks good in it. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. The, his love interest in that Does is one of the hottest girls I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Of it? course. Yeah. Should we do a live that's what we should start doing live like watchings of things. I said that for years. Do you want to live on our YouTube? Should we do it? We want to do Paris is Burning. Yep. We want to do Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> I want to do a gay Christmas movie from a, Hallmark. A gay Hallmark Christmas movie. We want to do a nice beheading video. Yes. We want to do Taliban training videos. I thought some the working girls. Bars, Wait, the monkey bars. I still think propaganda. for working girls. <laughs> I, what if we became, if we went to tr um, boot camp, training boot camp to be flight attendants and have to jump out of the plane in the water and, the, and go down the slides. Let's go to, let's go to like uh, Delta Airlines. My friend did it before and we can train to be a flight attendant for a day. Delta, if you're listening. <laughs> Delta like work. That's her name. Delta work. No, no. My friend Heather, McDon Heather McMahon, she went um, to Delta headquarters and she got to slide down the slide. I think Chef Donnie did that on his, uh, <laughs> yeah. on his, remember he did that? That's where he was topless. We, yeah. I don't know anything. I just watch him. Just yeah. Oh, we were going through your pictures. Are we allowed to say this? We we're scrolling through Nana's pictures the other day. I'm looking through. There's just a topless photo of Chef Donnie. <laughs> I was I screen grabbed to send to you because I wanted to have the same outfit he had on. Oh, he didn't have an outfit on. Um, well, let's get to Jerry O'Connell. Thank you. I hope everyone has an awesome weekend. Uh, enjoy the interview and we'll see you on Wednesday with Chrissy DiStefano. Get your tickets now at zanniesnational.com. Frame royal blue as well, so you may blend into the chair. But let's go. You can never blend into the, the background. Guests. Now, well, this is now it's wig wars today. Well, let's go. <laughs> now, this is a lace front. Ooh, Throw fancy. that one on for me. That's expensive. You know, well, so we'll get a I'm gonna, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on the the Bieber Ooh. 2013. Interesting choice. You know what? I'm gonna join you. Yeah, Marticia, gonna... now Marty is just getting the, the cameras and it was like, so we normally don't have hand, people with angular faces in, in, uh, in a chair. We usually have slob kebabs here, but. Joey, I have to say meeting you in person, um, you are uh, you are a long glass of water. Thank you. Well, I'm wearing, a, I'm wearing a kitten heel. No, but typically when you meet celebrities, they are. Um... Oh God, his head is going to be so big he won't be able to fit <laughs> on the floor. Typically, they're, they're, typically they're, they're, they're tiny people. Yeah. And. Uh, you are not. You well, are. Uh, you. you are a presence. Well, you're tall too. How, is this recording? How tall are you? Uh, I am actually six three. <gasps> but it's so funny. I tell people this is so weird that I'm six. That I'm six two. Uh, so they're surprised. No, it's just um like when you're acting, especially if you're like an actor who's of my level. I'm typically a supporting role, mm. and if you're working with a, st a star. Um, they don't like really tall people yeah, or handsome people. You must, they must have trouble with you. You know, <laughs> they do, yeah, they must. Not They're anymore. Leading role. Like I, I wanted that there. Oh, yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm yep. kidding. You're good. You're good. You well, that was actually his real hair. We're going to sell to, to um, some, some fans online. Imagine he though. takes off his real head of hair. Yeah. The whole thing comes no. off. Um, uh, send it for a drug test, a DNA test, my little <laughs> strand of hair. We're rolling, right, Marty? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're here with Jerry O'Connell. We're thrilled. I'm excited to be here, guys. I know you look a vision in blue, all yeah. different shades. Now there's periwinkle, there's cerulean, there's. Uh, I, you know, I'm not afraid of the clash. Yeah, uh, I think it's. Uh, I think clashing is um, kind of fun. Yeah, you look great today. I'm um, the house PMT. Do they treat you nicely? They they always do. Uh, PMT was actually my introduction into barstool. Ah, um, you met them a bunch. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, I really. Uh, I mean, I appreciate all of Barstool. I think it's really sort of like the new form of entertainment. And I love sort of like hovering in its in its universe. That's so know? funny. KFC was my introduction to Barstool as well as my obesity. 
<laughs> Believe it or not. You actually um lost a lot of weight. You you have. I was Empix. Oh no. I swear yes. to God. Oh yes. gosh. But I, but I have it for other reasons. Okay. No, okay. You don't. I'm so sorry. Hold on a second. You are supposed to be saying I'm not taking it anymore. That's like the Hollywood thing now oh, is right. to publicly say you're not taking it because So should we need- say let's cut that? You need actually keep it though. <laughs> you need that. You want that. You think di- people who are uh, diabetic should Just have their own medicine. And it also, it raises the price if it's used. I don't want to say recreationally, but that's how people are using well, it. Well, my doctor, bit. I do have high, um, high cholesterol. So they were trying to prevent me from getting pre-diabetic. That's why they gave it to me. I didn't okay. even know it was weight loss. Now, if I recall, okay. uh, we had a show here. Maybe we could do a flashback of Joey actually doctor shopping for Ozempix <laughs> on the show. And he had a doctor here. He goes, he goes, I need the two and a half milligrams. And he goes, now we're cooking oh, I with remember. gas. Yeah, I said, I said you know, but maybe up to the big boys. Now let's do it again. Say, Joey, you look so great. We'll do another one. No, I was kidding. I know I'm not saying, but I want to do it. So it's funny for the thing. Okay. I'm going to say I was eating right and watching my weight. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Um, I have actually been doing um, Pilates um, and I'm <laughs> and keto. And cocaine, believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or I, not. Yeah, that's just I do cocaine every day. Don't do that day. anymore, please. No, no I know. More. Fentanyl. Oh, it's dangerous. Fentanyl. No more, dangerous. No more with, uh, you know, it's so funny. I have teenage daughters. And so I know they're going to start partying very soon if they haven't started already. And literally, I'm saying to them as a parent, I'm like, girls, you can't touch the powder yeah. and you can't touch any pills. Yes. Uh, you know, they actually told me a, a horror story. Oh no! Um, that uh, they knew somebody who um, offered them Xanax and said they were selling Xanax. Did he have a, a suede boot on, a, a pattern top, and a, t- <laughs> and a spray in, tan in a, in a shot and a spray- diamond, <laughs> a, a, a long gold cubic zirconia on? I've wearing- seen her going around. I've seen her around the office. <laughs> he was he was wearing a bar stool sweater. Um, <laughs> no, um, by Trish. And I was like, girls, listen to me and listen to me carefully. If you buy Xanax from some idiot that you know, Mm -hmm. it is going to have fentanyl in it and you are going to die. You're not like you're going to die. And it's what's actually so scary these days is that I I can't believe we're turning this into like a a say no to drugs. Well, do (laughs) it. The children need to hear it. But you know, um, if you buy a pill or you buy cocaine, it has been stepped on and it most likely has fentanyl in it. Don't do it. Stick with, uh, I mean, stick with things you know what's in there. Mushrooms or <laughs> marijuana. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, mushrooms are the new girl, new girl in town. People love mushrooms. Whatever. Just whatever doesn't have fentanyl in it, you know? Yeah. Or why don't you just drink a pirate water? Our new, yeah. our new, our new alcoholic beverage venture. Yeah, a high you heard about it? Tequila. Uh, yeah, I'll send um, the girls a case. Okay. It's about about two dollars two dollars a can for sixteen ounces. Has enough liquor in you to put you down for the, for one evening. Okay, good. that's safe and yeah. it's and it's, it's fruity flavored. Right. How was partying in Hollywood when you were coming up? In it like was the eighties, nineties. It was so fun. I'll tell you when yeah. I really felt like I had arrived is um I was cast in Scream Two, and um I was a young actor. I was about a year out of college. And it's funny, I moved to LA and I only knew two guys I went to college with. And then I, um, I, I just, we didn't know anyone there. So like, I'd look up in the Hollywood Hills yeah, and I'd be like, how do I get up there? I know there's It's weird parties. going to LA for the first time. You know, he's born and raised here in Manhattan. Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. were you, Upper raised, West? No, Chelsea. Oh. Right, right down the street. That's where so Chelsea. Chelsea. Where in Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zesty, I love it. She That's grew so up funny. leaving her above Rawhide. Now I'm now I'm aging myself. Uh, I went to uh, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna d- date myself here. Is Rawhide still open? No, it closed oh, down. No. Sad. It was um, sad. Everything's closed. Big Cup is closed. I went to junior high school across the street from Rawhide. Get out of here. Twentieth, just a few blocks. I know. From I know it well. Where was um, Rawhide? Twenty. It was on the corner of Twenty First and Eighth, maybe Eighth oh. Avenue. So I went to school between on uh, Twentieth between Eighth and Ninth. Um, so I grew up in a very in a predominantly gay neighborhood. Yeah. Um, what a great childhood, the best. My building, I mean, you know, the ha- Halloween was, I mean, that was our, that was our Hanukkah. That was yeah. our, that was, that was our, your Purim. that was it, our, <laughs> our, literally. Quite literally. Um, it was uh, so much fun. Just everyone in my building, all my uncles, just really dressing, uh, my brother and I in drag, yeah. going to the, Ugh. going to the Greenwich Village Halloween parade when it was, uh, not such a shit show. Yes. It was a really fun time. You know, I am a little bit older. It was- We're the uh, same age. I am 49. Oh, 49. I'm 44. Sorry. You look good. Thank you. Who's your doctor? I might have to go see your doctor. Sperling Dermatology. You should I gotta go. go. I'm not they're kidding. They're right here. They're right here in Manhattan. Yes. Um, That's because free your end. face looks significantly younger than mine. Thank you. Um, But um, it was a little sad. Uh, 
it wasn't a little sad. It was, it, it was horrible. Uh, cause, uh, I was, I was born in 74. So I was about six in 1980, you know, uh, all of my neighbors, uh, passed away AIDS. from AIDS. It was really, I was really a child during that pandemic. And it's funny when COVID happened, it was the second, it was the yeah. second pandemic I had lived through, yeah. you know, because well, um, I think AIDS, I, I mean, I saw, I mean, AIDS just decimated my neighborhood. It, mm -hmm. de it decimated it. Yeah, All of people, my neighbors. It actually faces to names and, you know, there's statistics out there. Right. That people know, but you are, you lived in the thick of everything. These are your friends. These are the people that you these looked are the up men, to. These are, these are the men who raised me. Yeah, these absolutely. are the men who were my guardians. These yeah. are the men who lived in my building, who um, uh, are responsible for why, as you said, I'm zesty. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, but, I, but I'm not even joking. When you are raised by gay men, y you have a, you have a sense of humor with everything. It's a, uh, it's a. Uh, Look at Marty, how she turned out. <laughs> We've been raising her for the past 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a, uh, it's a uh, humor is a way to deal with, I mean, just the, the, the difficult card you were immediately dealt, right. you know? And um, it was, it was, it was pretty gnarly yeah. for uh, a, a few years there. So you're going to LA, you're from Manhattan. Oh when yeah. I first, me... When I first went to LA, I had the same thing. It's you shock value. You don't know where the Valley is. What you say? It says, uh, San Diego is still LA or not San Diego is, uh, San, San, Santa Monica, Santa Monica is still LA. And you're so confused what's going on. Right. Lay of the land, new actor, new what? actor looking up in the Hills saying, I want to get to that party. Um, started to find a little bit of success, got into scream Two. And then uh, was promptly invited to Courtney Cox's house in Ooh, the hills. After hours. And it was <laughs> Nev Campbell, oh, Courtney wow. Cox. At the time. David Arquette, uh, Timothy Oliphant, um, Sarah Michelle Geller. It was everyone. And I remember I was in that party in the hills and I was like, all right, I finally made it up yeah. here. It was really, <laughs> really fun. A lot of going out to clubs. Uh, no internet back when I started. Uh, something called... Um, what was it called? Hollywood Uncensored? What was it called? It was, it was a, it was, it was like the beginning of TMZ. Um, Celebrities Uncensored. It was, was like the like first. On, it, on TV though. Yeah. It was the first like TMZ show yeah. where they had cameras outside of clubs. But I was at the club when I saw Britney and Justin Timberlake battle with each other. Ooh, oh, I wow. was at that club. A dance battle or a, 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 a lover's I, quarrel? A, Beatbox. A, a dance battle. They had a famous dance battle. Um, this was like Perez Hilton was uh, oh, yeah. how everyone got their news. Um, it was uh, it was an exciting time. Again, all pre social media, so it was a different. Uh, yeah, it was it was a different ball. A game. lot of people were saying pre social media, like uh, Hollywood was very different. Um, quote, what's her name? Gwyneth Paltrow was openly saying she's like, people like then I could just like be blowing lines at a club and no one would even know about it, and like go home with some stranger, like two other major actors, no one would know, have a threesome with them, and be like, you know, she didn't say threes, I added that, yeah. but she could go <laughs> home with any actor. Do you miss it? Like the old, old Hollywood in a sense, not old in the sense like fifties, but like pre-social media Hollywood. <laughs> you miss Tab you know, Hunter? Um, <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't. I'm, yeah. uh, I mean, I know I'm not supposed to say this on, you know, you're such a large platform like we have. This is such a kid's, pl such a kid's <laughs> podcast and all the kids are listening, yeah. but I'm older. I'm tired. I have children. I'm a mm -hmm. husband. I stay at home. Uh, and I love, I love Instagram. I just, yes. uh, I scroll, I spend about an hour and a half every night just scrolling through it. My, uh, I, I, I love seeing where the algorithm takes me. I have not, I can't do the TikTok yet, guys. Oh, good luck when Sorry. you get on there. You're going to, you think you're addicted to Instagram? Well, TikTok pulls, is like, it pulls you out in. of control. Everyone says that. I'm a little afraid to, I'm a little It's harder to, to create than you do because it's like a Cheesecake Factory menu. There's too many options of like yeah. how you can create your videos, kind of music, the little faces you can put on. And I get overwhelmed. It's sensory overload. I like to like, you know, I like to like create the, like, Bigger, you're a live guy. Through. You do Instagram because I don't have to press any buttons. Yeah. I can just sit there yeah. and just be myself. And yeah, I, I do find the whole lip syncing thing to be very boring. I yeah. never, I scroll past every lip syncing video. Especially that I if there's a hot guy, you want to hear his voice and see if he's a sissy or not. And then you can't tell because <laughs> he's talking over some fucking things that you know. He's talking over a Nicki Minaj she's lyric. She's lip, she's lip syncing for her legacy right there on, on the small screen, and I can't even see what she's talking. You don't seem like. you don't seem tired though. I mean, you're on the talk. You're crushing on there. I um I I, I um I, I mean I don't know. I mean I'm just not going out and watching uh, uh, JT and Brit Brit uh, <laughs> battle it out with each other. Gosh, what would I 
what would it be now? I'm not out there watching Selena fight with Haley. Oh, Haley over, oh, yeah. Yes. Um, we got listener questions for you, and there's a lot of Bravo related questions. Oh we'll yeah, get, we'll get to. I saw you. You were on last night. Was it last night you were it on? It was yeah. so exciting. Live? I was on Watch What Happens Live last night. It was the first show back since. Uh, if those who don't know what's happening on Vanderpump Rules, teach us because um, we don't know either. We were trying to talk about this last week. Yeah, you should watch Vanderpump Rules. Oh, I'm I aware, used to yeah. for, for a long time. It's, I got confused. I you know I stopped watching when they when um who left? Uh, Jax. Yeah, Jax left, and then Kristen Dowdy got fired. Yeah. For, Stealing, I don't know what she stole. Well, that was the number one question we got. Where do you stand on the scandal? Whose side are you well, on? Well, did you see her shirt last night? Uh, yeah, I was. I had. I was wearing a Team Ariana shirt, which I had to get made at a place called Village Di Digital right here, and it, <laughs> like I, it cost me a hundred dollars for that T-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> and it was just the most expensive T-shirt I bought that I didn't get at Fred Siegel. It's and a form of protest. Um, so it's worth it. Yeah, I, I guess so. He he did give me a, a keychain as well <laughs> that said Team Ariana. He threw that in for free, but um, I, I'm I'm Team Ariana. But you know what? I mean, they're hot people hooking right. up with other hot people behind hot people's backs. I I, I like I, I like shows that are about hot people <laughs> hooking up with hot people. Yes. And uh, well said. In L.A., it's uh, <laughs> it's really fun. Um, it's a fun show. Do you think she deserves? I feel like a lot of times the person who is in the relationship takes a lot of the blame when it's the person who's like interrupting the relationship who doesn't. Do you feel that she should have more blame, Ariana? I know. I, I no. and by the way, even if you did think that, I don't think you can blame the person who was cheated on. I mean, oh, no, uh, I, I'm not, not Ariana. Who's the, um, Oh, uh, Raquel, Raquel is the rather, young lady. Yeah. yeah. Um, cause she tried to make herself the victim, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. it's funny. I sort of came in hard last night on watch what happens live with, um, my idol, Andy Cohen. Um, I, uh, I came in a little hard on Tom Sandoval, but, uh, Again, this is kind of what we're paying for. This is why we were they married, Ariana? They were not married. Does okay. that does that make it, it better? It doesn't make a difference. So okay. I was but just nine confused. years is like you may as well be married, right? They're been nine years, and now help me out. They were. Is it the scandal was because this girl that was that was the um the the side chick or the madam? What was her name? Uh, Raquel. Her, her name was Raquel. Raquel. She came onto the show really as a fan. And now she is one of the oh, okay. one of the major cast members in there. So it shakes it up more because it's someone in their inner circle that he's been having this affair with. Correct. That's Correct. why it's so dramatic. Correct. And there okay, are rumors that they were having this affair while uh, his uh, his girlfriend Ariana was in the house. It really Ugh. gets pretty crazy. But I mean, that said, I, I try not to go too hard. Uh, I mean, we've all been in relationships. Have you ever? Cheated on a on a lover? I haven't, but I I have been ever in on. your life. No, well, I only had two boyfriends, and I'm one of them I'm with right now. Okay, okay. I've done a retaliatory cheat where they've cheated on me, and I've cheated back. Wow! But I've never initiated. Wow! I've never a counter attack. I've counter attack, and I told them, I go, well, now you understand. I have to cheat on you. Hmm. My hands are tied. I I'm need more to the do person it. that would like if I knew that it was getting there, and I and I met someone randomly, I would have to like you know abruptly break it off with that person. And then start up right away. Like I would, I would, I would cut it off right away. Why are you so honest? Because I was, I was hurt. I was, my, my, my life was ruined by Tim. Oh, here and we she go. Me 2012. I haven't dated since this year, I'm last year. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, am, uh, am I allowed to yes, get personal? Oh, yes. I, mean, I know you're not go. dating, but I mean. We, no, I am now and I have a boyfriend now. But I mean, were we swiping? No, we, I wasn't doing anything. I was you celibate. Were, you were sucking though, a little bit. I would get drunk and suck dick in the bathroom at, at nightclubs. Yeah, okay. you've done well, the Eagle. I've seen him pop cab up. Cab drivers. I've seen him pop yeah. up from a glory hole at the Eagle. Right. You know? That sort of but scratches I never got their name, inch, But I got, know? never got right. their name. So it wasn't like I wasn't even dating them. So I didn't know if they If you don't get their name, it doesn't count. I probably couldn't pick him in a lineup. Yeah. Right. So you you were not like diving into the deep end. You were just sort of dipping your yeah. I was terrified to get back in, back into in. it. Um, dipping your toe in. I mean, like yeah. Um, the um, <laughs> but you really that 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 really burned you, and you really yeah. And maybe it was maybe it was like I, I don't think it was him. The relationship wasn't him. It was it wasn't like he was nothing special. It was just like the fact that I let myself be vulnerable, and I'm such a such like a. I cover everything up with, you know, with comedy and things like that. So I think I was, I was able to be vulnerable. And then that You're the one time guy. I did let myself out of my comfort zone, if I, I backfired. So I, like, I was like, fuck that. Never again. It's so funny just knowing you and following you on Instagram. And yeah. by the way, full disclosure, I've been following you for a little bit now. I'm a, I'm a fan. Um, <laughs> you seem like sort of an alpha to me. I am. Alpha nat I'm natty too. Hundred, I'm 100% I'm natty. He's I a natty guy. You know how the, the straight guys will do that now? Natty alpha can. <laughs> 
That's what's on my thing. Um, but yeah, I, I do have confidence, but I think it's also a cover up because I don't have like, I know what I have and I know that people in like, if something fucks me up in the head, I'll, it'll break me and break my soul. And I'm too confident for that now. I'm like, no one's worth my time to do that to me. But you have Bay now. I have Bay now. He's dating a 23 year old. 23 year old smoke okay. show. Good. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you guys, I mean, it, it, Once I in a mean, while, usually you, I give it. He's um, what well, you, sorry. <laughs> let's just let's you, cut to the chase here, Jim. Let's cut to the you, chase. You you told me your age generationally. Yeah. Are there any problems there? I mean, yes, I, I understand how it could be problematic, um, but no. And I think it's I think it's funny because I have such a, like a young spirit, and I think he kind of like you know I feel I, there's there's times I, to, I feel like I'm teaching things, and it oh. feels a little gross. You're sort of like, 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 an, like, a, like a father. Gross, like an You're a father. Pop up here, son. Let me tell you about this. But like I do, I, I, yeah. I'm very worldly. I've, I've lived many lives in my in my in my 45 years. You taught him the legs on wine. I remember that was yeah. the big thing. He goes, you, he goes, you know, these means kiddo. But he loves everything. Yeah. He loves everything because I learned, I learned something new. I've tried uh, just this one month alone. I've tried more food that I would never would have known about, touched, or even looked at in my whole life that I really enjoy. So he's learned, He's getting a lot of culture from me. Um, at a young age, do you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Like you sure. know, Escargot. Yeah, sure. Who knew that she liked Escargot? Um, you know, just I mean, not 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 to really go deep into this oh, relationship, care. and we're happy that you're in a new relationship. Is there anything that you? I'm I'm sorry, his Bay. Uh, is there anything that you learn from from Bay? Yeah, I learned. I learned. He learned how to throw his legs behind his head. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I learned you need to tuck the ankle behind the ear. Um, no, I mean, I, there's, of course, there's I'm learning he, like all the hip terms. I'm learning from him. I'm learning confidence. Like, and like, I'm learning. He's like, you know, he's just very swaggy. I think he's a little bit short with you at times, not to get too deep. What do you we mean? Went to the, we went to MSG together and he was okay. a little, he didn't have much patience with Joey. Well, cause I don't know the, I don't know the last couple of games. Okay. He was trying to explain sports to me. He's a big sports enthusiast. I'm protective. Aren't you protective of your friends when they get a new wife or girlfriend or boyfriend um, or something? Yeah. I try to be open and help them out. Uh, they're in a new relationship, but, but I guess if you're very close with someone, you get a little more protective of them. Um, yeah. I, is this when you last went to MSG? You were talking about the, uh, yes. the concessions and everything. I, I listened to that. Yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, so, like, for example, did you learn the term zesty from him from Bay? Yeah, yeah. It's so funny because it's he's gonna freak out. It's so funny from <laughs> Bay. <laughs> Just no, you saying Bay. What is that um, noise? It's the people uh, outside. Yeah. Oh, I thought it it's was New York. I thought it was Content Kim with a with a work uh, in the glory hole with a glory hole in the back <laughs> next room. Excuse um, me. So you don't see any? I mean, uh, I'm sorry to pry. No, do and, it. Uh, living. What are the living conditions? Well, he has three roommates. Okay. Um. And I have no roommates. Okay. Um, so he spends a lot of time at my house. Okay. I, just, I sleep over his house sometimes. It's very frat patty, but I like wow. it. It keeps me young. Um. Does they have things at your house? Yes. I have a, I have a, I have a pull out drawer under my bed. Wow. With a all whole drawer. Things, a drawer. Cause it got overwhelming. I, I had to get a storage unit, believe it or not. Just now. Uptown. There's so many, Jack, I mean, if you live in a small Manhattan apartment, you know, you grew up here. Sure. There's no room for, you know, as many coats as I have, you know, there's like big jackets and there's, um, yeah. Okay. We have to wrap. Um, hold on a second. Uh, just, we have a couple seconds. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't have to wrap cause I want to get to the bottom of Bay here. Have you, um, so you're obviously at home when Bay is not there. Yes. I have a ring cam and I watch him come into my house. But you gave him a key on message. the second date. No, it was the second, it was like a few weeks. I gave him a key. Cause he, it's like, I was leaving for work early and he was, I was having a flight early and he had to like sleep. He wants to sleep in it. I don't care. I like that. He's, I like that. He's like taking over like, sure. uh, like ownership. And when the more like he infiltrates himself into my life, it makes me a part of his everyday thing. It makes me like, so feel whole and secure. And I love it. And oh you God. have a ring cam. I'm not for him. That was for the cleaning ladies. But okay. um, I do have it. So I like not. He sometimes he comes and surprises me. But it's not really a surprise because I see him. Um, uh, I'm so just, sorry. To, I'm so sorry to pry. Have you watched Bay on the ring cam when when he didn't know he was being watched? No, so the, the, the kicker, no, the kicker is the ring it. cam is in the toilet. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the kicker that we have. No, he, knew, he knew it was there the whole time. It's more just about like him coming in. Like, you know, when we do like funny little things on it, like when he comes home or when he leaves, we do little dances. It's this little thing we do. Um, have you gone through his drawer without him there? No. Okay. All right. Good. I went through his backpack Ugh. once. Okay. What, and, um, what did we find? I found a concealer. I found <laughs> sealer. I found a concealer. I found old. By the way, oh, I am left wearing. That in by there. the way, I it's it's rare I put on makeup to come to Barstool. I noticed she's great. Put on, a, put on a little bit of makeup to yeah. come into your she went, show. She, 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 she beat the beat up. Yeah, she went to, uh, through Rebecca's bag earlier. Was all shut, <laughs> rustling through. I was like, no, <laughs> this looks nasty. She put it on. Let's um, play. We're getting screamed at to rap. Let's right. play a game of yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Okay. Shall we? Grab a hat. Yes, yes, yes. 
We're gonna do some some fire off questions. We gotta have you back here because okay. we, I love it. How often? How Anytime, long you time for? I'm gonna give you all my phone numbers. Okay, good. It's uh, good I text. shouldn't just be doing PMT. Yeah. Yeah. All we're right. Gonna so have we're gonna start. Um, I'll start off. Mm, ready? So you simply answer yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Would you, at this point in your life, gain hundred pounds for a roll? No, ma'am. Me either. No, it's ma'am. Not worth the cal- no, ma'am. I, I, you know, I actually, you know, shout out to the actors who, who, who do it. Um, I just think it's really unhealthy. unhealthy. I really, you know, I have to tell you, um, when I was younger, I was, uh, I was a husky kid. Oh, I know. Um, and, um, like it, it, uh, it, it really, I, I remember when I was, um, a teenager, my mom, I grew up in Chelsea. I told you she had a, she used to go to a gym called David Barton's gym. Yeah. And oh yeah. Know, With the Suzanne disco Barsh. balls on the roof. Suzanne Barsh is making for yeah, the years. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, and um, my mom had a trainer there who subsequently passed away from uh, HIV, Charles yeah. Brown, love him. Mm-hmm. But I was a teenager and he, uh, he, he did this thing with me where I was overweight and first session that I had with him, um, he gave me a little book and he went, all right, here's your book. Um, right, tell what you eat. For the next week, write down everything that you put in your mouth. Everything. <laughs> if you have a sip of soda, <laughs> nah. if you have, if you have a, a bite of a candy bar, just everything. Just write it down. And I was like, okay. And he was like, that's it. I'll see you in a week. And I was like, this is like, what a waste of money. Like, yeah. So I wrote down, and then I came back the next week, and he was like, okay, let's let let's see it. And he like was reading out loud, like two liters of Mountain Dew. cola. Wow. Two liters. <laughs> box of enti- Entimans. 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 Oh. He was like, the whole box, not just a cookie. And he read it out loud to me. And he was like, this has to change. And it was like a, it was like a light off. bulb went off Absolutely. in my head. It was crazy. And um, so I, I'm very res- I'm very scared to put on weight. It's something I'm I scared you. of. I, it's funny. In college, I put on a lot of weight. And I look at photos. Um, the Fisherman 15. Um, it wasn't even that. It's so funny. I was dating Sarah Michelle Geller at the time. And if you see a paparazzi <laughs> shot of us, I'm, my my face get For some reason, most of my weight goes to my face. Yeah. And I just well, don't look good. Young. Better than the hips. All right. Question two. Would you mind if Rebecca Which went on Real Houses of Beverly Hills? No, I would love that. I that, think that, that is a yes, ma'am. For you guys. be a lot of fun. My wife will not do it, though. All right. We're going to do three more quick ones. Um, do you consider yourself a sex symbol? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, I don't think like that. I, I just don't think like that. I don't think it's good to think like that. There's nothing. I have a friend um, who is <clears throat> straight, um, married, and uh, he does this thing where every time he passes a mirror, he like squint, he narrows his eyes and he pushes like the front of his hair up. And then he just gives like one last lingering like, God, you're so fucking hot. Was it big cat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh it's um it's just so embarrassing. So I I don't think it's good to think of yourself that okay, way. Okay. Um, attractive. One more question. Or maybe a couple more questions. Um are John Benny's Ramsey's parents the killers? I'm sorry? Are John Benny's parents the killers? Um I don't want to get sued because there was that huge lawsuit, but I believe the killer was in that house. I, I don't believe it was the parents. Okay. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to end on that. Cause we got to wrap up. We want to pick this up what a, where we left what off a dark way to end that. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, I really enjoyed it. I'm such huge fans. I, I really am. Let's, uh, let's stay friends. Yes. Let's stay friends. Definitely. You can see Jerry O'Connell every day on the talk on CBS. That's right. You catch him with his show with his wife, um, the real love boat. And you can see him at my house for a dinner party this evening. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> on the and ring we'll cam. You, you can watch us on the ring cam.